They told you creatine was just for guys trying to get bigger muscles, maybe throw in some extra pump for the mirror. But here's what they conveniently left out. Creatine doesn't just change how you look. It rewires how your body actually functions, from your brain cells to your bones, in ways most people never even consider. If you commit to five grams every single day, no skipping, no excuses, your body starts shifting in hidden ways that have nothing to do with bicep size. We're talking about energy systems stabilizing, neurons firing sharper, recovery happening faster, and protection building up against decline that sneaks up on everyone who ignores it. Most folks either quit too soon because they don't see instant abs, or they never start because they're scared of myths about kidney damage and bloating. Meanwhile, the real transformation is happening quietly beneath the surface, compounding day after day. What you're about to discover isn't gym bro science, it's how a dirt cheap research-backed compound supports everything from your heart muscle to your skeletal strength, and why missing even one dose means leaving those benefits on the table. 10 specific changes are coming your way, and some of them might surprise you more than others. Comment right now. How old are you and where are you watching from? I want to know who's on the other side of this screen because each of you is at a different point in this journey. Here's the thing most folks don't realize. Creatine isn't just about pumping up muscles. It's actually working behind the scenes like a smart thermostat for your body's energy system. When you take that daily five grams dose, it's helping shuttle glucose right into your muscle cells where it belongs keeping your blood sugar from spiking and crashing like a roller coaster. Picture this. Instead of hitting that 3 p.m. wall where you're dragging yourself through the afternoon, you're cruising with steady energy that doesn't quit. And here's where it gets interesting. That stable energy flow doesn't just keep your body humming along smoothly. Your brain's getting a consistent fuel supply too, which means no more foggy thinking or mood swings when lunch wears off. It's like upgrading from an old car that stutters and stalls to one with fuel injection that runs clean and steady mile after mile. Now, there's something pretty wild happening at the cellular level that most people miss completely. When creatine pulls water into your muscle fibers, and we're talking deep inside the cells themselves, not that puffy, bloated look under your skin, it's like flipping a biological switch. Your body reads that cell expansion as a signal that it's time to grow, kicking protein synthesis into high gear and opening up the delivery channels for all those nutrients you're feeding it. Think of it like inflating a balloon just enough to stretch the rubber that tension tells your muscles. Hey, we need reinforcements here. The result? Faster recovery between workouts and an environment where your muscles can actually capitalize on the work you're putting in. It's not magic, but it sure feels like it when you're bouncing back quicker than you ever thought possible. Here's where things get really practical for anyone who's ever dragged themselves out of bed two days after leg day. Those well-hydrated muscle cells we just talked about, they're not just sitting there looking plump, they're working overtime to clean house. When your cells are properly hydrated from creatine, they flush out metabolic waste like lactic acid way faster than they normally would, which means that deep, achy soreness that used to last for days starts fading much quicker. And let's be real, when you're not hobbling around like you aged 30 years overnight, you can actually train consistently. That's the secret sauce right there. Instead of needing a week to recover from one brutal session, you're back in the gym, hitting it hard again in a couple days, stacking quality workout on top of quality workout. It's like the difference between stop and go traffic and cruising on the open highway you're covering way more ground when you're not constantly hitting the brakes. Here's something that doesn't get talked about enough. Your strength doesn't have to vanish just because you're getting older. Sarcopenia, that fancy term for age-related muscle loss, isn't some inevitable sentence you've got to accept. When you're taking creatine daily, you're essentially giving your muscles and mitochondria, those tiny power plants in your cells, the fuel they need to keep firing on all cylinders, even as the years stack up. Picture your neighbor who's 70 but still climbs ladders to clean gutters, carries groceries without help, and plays with grandkids without wincing. That's what we're talking about here. Maintaining real-world strength and independence instead of slowly fading into someone who needs assistance for basic tasks. It's not about vanity or looking jacked at 60. It's about staying mobile 
capable, and self-sufficient well into your golden years, doing what you want when you want. Now let's talk about something most people don't connect to creatine at all your skeleton. When you're supplementing consistently and hitting resistance training, you're not just building muscle, you're literally strengthening the framework underneath. Creatine enables you to lift heavier weights progressively, and every time you load your bones with resistance, you're sending signals to those bone-building cells called osteoblasts to get to work, laying down more mineral density like reinforcing concrete. Think about it this way, a fracture at 25 is an inconvenience, but a hip fracture at 70 can completely derail your life. By building bone density now through that combination of creatine and smart training, you're basically investing in insurance that pays out decades down the road. You're stacking the deck in your favor so that when life throws something unexpected your way is a slip on ice, an awkward step off a curb, your bones can handle it instead of shattering like old China. Let's clear up one of the biggest misconceptions floating around out there, creatine doesn't trash your kidneys. If you've got healthy kidneys to begin with, they handle creatine just fine, no sweat. What confuses people is when they get blood work done and see creatinine levels slightly elevated and suddenly they're panicking like their kidneys are failing. But here's the truth. Creatinine is just a normal byproduct of creatine metabolism and seeing it bump up a bit simply means your body's processing the supplement exactly as it should. Long-term studies, we're talking years of data here, have consistently shown that healthy individuals taking creatine aren't experiencing kidney damage. It's like worrying that using your car more often is going to destroy the engine, when really it's just showing normal wear from actual use. Your kidneys are built to filter and process, and creatine's just another substance they handle efficiently as part of their everyday job. Now we're getting into the real underlying magic that ties everything together. Inside every cell, creatine's working like a buffer system, stabilizing your ATP production so your cellular power plants don't have to work overtime and throw off damaging free radicals. It's like having a surge protector for your biology when energy demand spikes. Creatine smooths out the load instead of letting your cells get hammered by oxidative stress that leads to inflammation and premature aging. And here's the beautiful part, it does all this without interfering with the training adaptations you're working so hard to earn. Some antioxidants can actually blunt your gains by stopping the stress signals that tell your body to adapt and get stronger. But creatine doesn't work that way. You're getting cellular protection and recovery support without sacrificing a single ounce of progress, which means you can train hard, recover clean, and keep building without the long-term damage accumulating in the background. Here's something most people completely overlook your heart's a muscle too, and it's working non-stop every single second without a break. That constant demand for energy means your heart relies heavily on ATP, and creatine's right there supporting those energy reserves like a dedicated pit crew keeping a race car fueled. Beyond just energy support, research suggests creatine may help lower homocysteine levels, a marker linked to cardiovascular risk, while improving how flexibly your blood vessels respond to demand. Think about what that means in real terms. Better circulation, pumping oxygen and nutrients where they need to go, improved endurance whether you're running for a bus or hiking up a mountain, and a cardiovascular system that's resilient instead of struggling. It's not flashy like bigger biceps, but when you're 70 and still moving with vitality while others are dealing with heart issues and circulation problems, you'll realize this hidden benefit was worth its weight in gold all along. If you're running on a plant-based diet, here's something you need to understand. Creatine occurs naturally in meat and fish, which means your baseline stores are likely running lower than someone who eats animal products regularly. That's not a judgment call, it's just biology. When plant-based folks start supplementing with that daily five grams dose, they're not just topping off their tanks, they're filling them up from near empty, which is why the results often hit faster and harder than they do for meat eaters. We're talking noticeable jumps in strength within weeks, mental clarity that feels like someone turned the lights on, and recovery times that shrink dramatically. It's like finally getting the missing puzzle piece that makes everything else click into place. Whether you're vegan for ethics, health, or the environment, creatine supplementation bridges that nutritional gap without compromising any of your values, 
giving you the same performance advantages without needing to change how you eat. Here's where creatine really starts showing its true colors beyond just the physical stuff. Your brain runs on ATP just like your muscles do, and when you're supplementing daily, you're stacking up phosphocreatine reserves in your neurons like a backup generator waiting to kick in. That translates to sharper focus when you're grinding through work, better memory recall when you need it, and mental stamina that doesn't fade halfway through your day. It's like the difference between trying to run demanding software on a laptop with 10% battery versus one that's fully charged and plugged in. But it goes deeper than just feeling mentally crisp. Those same neurons are getting shielded from oxidative stress, the cellular wear and tear that accumulates from just living and thinking. Over time, that protection adds up, supporting long-term brain health in ways that compound year after year. You're not just performing better today, you're protecting your cognitive function for decades down the road, keeping your mind sharp when it matters most. So what's it gonna be? Are you actually going to use this or just let it collect dust in your head like everything else you've learned this week? You know creatine works now. You know the myths are garbage. The only question left is whether you're willing to commit to that daily five grams and let your body prove it to you, or if you're gonna keep making excuses while months slip by. What's really holding you back? Fear? Laziness? Dressed up as, I'll start Monday? Or maybe you just don't believe you deserve to feel that sharp, recover that fast, and protect yourself that well. Your future self is watching, make the call. If you want more no BS info that actually moves the needle, subscribe and hit notifications. There's a lot more coming that'll flip what you thought you knew about building something that lasts.